What is Gravisheet? Gravisheet is three things. One, a Gravitrax set reference. It tells you what pieces are in each Gravitrax set. Two, a Gravitrax inventory tracker. Tell it what sets you own, and it will tell you what pieces you have. And three, a free library of over 430 Gravitrax courses to build. Gravisheet will even tell you which courses you can build with your Gravitrax sets. Gravisheet is free. I'll show you how to use Gravisheet to access free step-by-step -step build instructions for all 430 courses. Now I'm going to walk you through how to use Gravisheet. When you first follow the link to open Gravisheet, it opens up as a template. You're going to have to go to the upper right hand corner and click the Use Template button. That's the button right up here. You cannot make changes to the master copy of Gravisheet. So you must hit the Use Template button. That will save a copy of Gravisheet into your Google account and then you can make changes to it. Now that we've made a copy of Gravisheet and saved it to our own Google account, let's take a look at the instructions page. The instructions page at the top has an area where you can choose language. If you want to see Gravisheet in your native language, just select that from the drop-down list. And once it is loaded, you will see Gravisheet displayed in your language. I'm going to switch it back to English. The next thing I want to point out is that Gravisheet will tell you if you have the current version or not. The current version of Gravisheet will be displayed in this box right here. The version that you have is displayed at the top. If these two do not match, then you may need to download the latest version of Gravisheet. To do so, just click this link right here where it says get the latest version of Gravisheet here. Because Gravisheet is based in Google Sheets, you need to know that in order to click any of the hyperlinks in the spreadsheet, you need to hover over the hyperlink like this and then click the link in the pop-up box right here. If you want to see this introduction video, click right here. If you want to see my Mass Marble channel on YouTube, there's a link right here. Going down further, the getting started instructions are right here. It says number one, click the use template button. We've already done that, so let's move on to step two. Step two, this has saved a copy of Gravisheet just for you. Make your edits to this copy. Three, compare all Gravitrax set contents on the set contents tab. Four, enter which Gravitrax sets you own on the sets you own tab. And five, view the courses to build tab to see which courses your set inventory can build. We're gonna walk through that right now. The tabs within Gravisheet are explained a little further, and then you can also see the update history under what's new. Let's take a look at the Set Contents tab. The Set Contents tab is the Gravitrax set reference. On the left, you will see a list of every Gravitrax set. If any of the set names has a hyperlink, click on the link to see an unboxing video of that set. To the right of that, you will see that each Gravitrax piece has its own column. If you look below each column, it will tell you how many of that piece is in each set. For example, the starter set has 40 stacker tiles, whereas the obstacle, race, and speed sets have 56. This is a handy way to plan your next Gravitrax purchase. Let's say you want to find which sets the small layer is in. There's one in the light starter set, one in the race starter set, two in the speed starter set, two in the extreme, two in the giant, one in the switch starter set, and one in the XXL power starter set. Now notice that Ravensburger has named two of their sets XXL, which is very unfortunate. Do not confuse the basic or core XXL starter set with the XXL power starter set. You can also find the small layer in the advent calendar, the 2021, and the flow set. Let's move on to the set you own tab. This time you get to enter how many of each set you own, what's in your inventory. All you have to do is under the sets you own column is enter the number of each set that you own. For example, let's say we own three starter sets, one speed starter set, and we also own scoop two spirals. Let's say we have an elevator. Now it tells us at the top how many total of each part we have. It says we now have 18 base layers from all those sets, eight large layers, two small layers, Scrolling to the right, we have one drop hill track, one drop valley track, and so on. And this can be used to plan your builds. Now let's move on to the Courses to Build tab. This is where everything in Gravisheet comes together. First of all, take a look up here at Pieces Owned. This yellow row here carries over your inventory from the previous tab so that Gravisheet can tell you which of these courses you can build. Each course on the left 
has a thumbnail image, the name of the contributor, the title of the course, whether or not that course has an associated video you can view, the app code for the course, the launch button to launch that app code in the free Gravitrax app, any notes that you need to know about the course, whether the course contains pro parts, and whether the course contains power parts. The next column tells you whether or not you have the pieces to build that course. Let's scroll to find a course that we can build using the sets that we have entered. There we go. It says you can build this course. Now, instead of scrolling through all of this, there are some shortcuts built into this sheet that I'm going to show you in just a minute. But for right now, let's take a look to the right. Under each column that represents a Gravitrax piece, you will see the number of that piece that is used in that course. So for example, this course requires four base plates to build, one large layer, three marbles of any color, etc. If there is a piece that is required by a course that you do not have in your inventory, that will be highlighted in red. So for example, in this course here, you can see that 192 stackers are required, and Gravisheet is telling you that you don't have that many. Now, if you want to see only courses that you can build, come up and click this link up here. Show only courses you can build. When you click that link, it applies a filter view to the data, and now it shows you only courses that you can build. You'll notice that when you open a filter view, this black bar appears above the spreadsheet. To close that filter view, simply hit the X in the upper right-hand corner, and then you're back to seeing all the data again. Filter views do not affect the underlying data, so you can use them freely in Gravisheet. Now here's some hidden features of this sheet, which I think you'll find really fun. First of all, if you want to see a larger preview of what a track looks like, hover over the thumbnail and then click on that link. A full-size image will load in a separate browser tab. The second column is the contributor column. If you want to see courses by a specific contributor, select that contributor from the drop-down list and then hover over the contributor title link and click that link, which will apply a filter view to show you only courses from that contributor and also sorted by title in alphabetical order. Again, we go to the upper right and click the X to close out the filter view. The third column is the title column. If you would like to see all the courses sorted alphabetically by title, click the link. This will apply a filter that sorts those titles alphabetically. Let's close out that filter. The fourth column is the video column. A video projector icon means that that course has an associated video that you can view to preview the course before you build it. For example, if we want to see what Grandfather Clock 1 looks like before we build it, we can hover over the icon, click the link, and watch the video. The fifth column is the app code. This is the unique code that the free Gravitrax app uses to load the course. I'll show you that in just a second. At the top, app code can be sorted alphabetically by clicking on the filter. The next column is the launch column. It contains a little rocket icon, and if we click on that, it will launch the course into the free Gravitrax app by Ravensburger. This app is available on both iOS and Android, and it allows you to virtually see the track in a 3D virtual environment. Let's take a look at this one. We're going to load it, and then click on it to open it. And there you see the track in 3D. You can even start the track and watch it run virtually using the start button down to the right. Now this is where you get the build instructions for all of these courses. What we have to do to get build instructions for each track is to click up here at the upper right and click on the middle icon that looks like a book. This is the manual mode. The manual mode gives you step-by-step -step build instructions of how to build the track. Here's step one, step two, step three, and you can see that at each step, it highlights in blue the pieces that are added for that step. If you want to see a piece list for each step, simply click this I information button. It shows you the pieces needed for the current step. So for step five, these pieces are needed, step six, step seven, and so on. If you want to see the pieces that are required to build the entire build, scroll all the way to the right to the end, and then the sum total will be shown here when you click the I information button. So the nice thing about this mode is no matter what the course is, it will give you step-by-step -step build instructions to build it. To exit, click the disk icon, which allows you to either save the track or not to save it. Let's close the Gravitrax app. Now we're back at Gravisheet. The next column is the Notes column. To see only courses that contain notes, let's apply the filter at the top of that column. Now we see only courses that have notes associated with them. 
The next column tells you if the course includes pro pieces. To see only courses with pro pieces, let's apply the filter at the top of that column. Now we see only courses that include pro parts. The next column is the power column. If you see a power icon next to a course, that means that course uses pieces from the Gravitrax power line. If you want to see only courses that use power components, let's use the link at the top of the column. Now we've applied a filter in Gravisheet to see only courses that use power elements. When a filter view is applied, you can actually tailor that filter with your own sort and filter criteria. Simply choose the column that you want to sort or filter by, click the funny icon, and then you can sort A to Z, Z to A, or filter by condition, which you could say, I want to see all the ones that are empty, I want to see the ones that are not empty. Add your own filters, save your own filters. These are only filter views, they do not affect the underlying data. If a filter view is enabled and you want to see all the courses again, of course you can click the X to turn off the filter or you can click the show all courses filter. New courses are being added to Gravisheet over time and the great news is as they are added to the master spreadsheet, they will be automatically linked into your copy of Gravisheet and show up. Let's take a look at the next tab which is the mobile course view. This is the same thing as the courses to build tab, but it only shows one course at a time. This tab is more geared for if you're viewing Gravisheet on a mobile device. To use the mobile course view, select your course from the drop down list and it will tell you whether or not you can build that course, show you a preview of the course and give you links to launch that course or watch the associated video. And if you don't have enough pieces to build that course, scroll to the right and you can see which pieces you are short. The next tab is a height reference. Sometimes it's difficult to remember how many tiles up or down a track piece or another piece can manage. That's what this sheet tells you. Here the input height rows are showing us that the short Bernoulli tracks can manage anywhere between three to three and a half height tile difference for the straight Bernoulli track. Transfers need an input height of five and a half height tiles at their entrance and four height tiles at their output. If you find Gravisheet helpful, please subscribe so I can keep you up to date on the latest releases. And that's how to use Gravisheet. Let me know in the comments what you think, if you have any suggestions, and I'll see you next time here at the Mass Marble.